proofs that Islam is the only true religion of God. Many proofs exist that Islam is the true religion of God. Among the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is that it is the only religion whose message and teachings have been preserved and never tampered with or changed over time. As for Christianity and other religions, we do not have their original revelation and teachings preserved for our perusal. If you look at Christianity, for instance, since Jesus Christ and the disciples spoke Aramaic, Jesus Christ's message and teachings were in this language. Today, we do not have copies of Jesus Christ's teachings in the language he taught them. We have manuscripts in Koine Greek, which was not Jesus Christ's language. It was not until 300 years later, in the 4th century, that manuscripts were cherry-picked and compiled into books from various unknown sources and authors. Then, these manuscripts were translated again years later into English and other languages spoken today. The same can be said with the revelation and teachings sent with the prophet Moses and prophet David, peace be upon them. Their revelations were never preserved. God did not preserve their revelations because they were meant for previous nations and not for us today. Islam, on the other hand, its scripture, the Holy Quran, stands the same today as when it was first revealed 1400 plus years ago, word for word, letter by letter. God taught it to the angel Gabriel, who taught it to the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who taught it to his companions, who wrote it down in the role of scribes and memorized it letter for letter. Millions of people of every generation have memorized the Holy Quran. Hundreds of thousands of people worldwide have this 600 plus page holy book memorized by heart. Amongst the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is that Islam speaks to the predisposition and innate belief that God has put in the hearts of every human. Take the concept of God, for instance. The idea of God is simple, understandable, and not complex as in other religions. Islam teaches the existence of only one supreme being, who is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving, and who created the whole universe and everything in it. All other beings are creations of God and not the actual creator. All the great religious disputes of the past pointed to one God, including Judaism. If there were more than one God, there would be chaos of gods fighting each other for control. If the gods did not fight each other for power and control, that would mean that these gods were dependent on and submissive to each other. In other words, not gods. All past prophets of God mentioned in the Old Testament stressed the teachings of one creator. Islam acknowledges the historical progression of these great prophets sent by God to humanity, starting with Prophet Adam, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. Islam acknowledges the continuation of these great prophets of God, all who came with the same general message. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is part of this family of prophets, like Jesus Christ and the rest. While all prophets came down with the same general message and theology, the laws they came with were fine-tuned based on the time, place, and circumstances of their existence. Muslims believe in all the past prophets and messengers that God continually sent and Prophet Muhammad's message was no different. The prophets of God that Islam teaches were all holy, righteous men. None ever did anything immoral or questionable, as other religions, such as Christianity, wrongfully claimed. For those who think that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, might have fabricated his prophethood for worldly gain, it is imperative to realize that the Prophet, believers from his family, 
and his companions went through many years of persecution, hardship, and lost kinship because they believed in and spread the message of God, just like the past prophets of God and their followers. Prophets of God came down not wanting any worldly gain. They wanted only to spread the word of God, causing them great hardship. Among the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is the concept that salvation makes common sense and applies true justice. Islam states that salvation is based on your belief in your creator, intentions, actions, and repentance. No other religion believes in rational and logical concepts, like Islam's concept of God, his prophets, salvation, and the hereafter, that appeal to everyone. Islam says every man is responsible for his actions, sins, and salvation, and no one will bear anyone else's sins as Christianity believes, which is unjust. God, who owns everything, does not need to sacrifice his supposed son to forgive humanity. Moreover, salvation is not based on the ethnicity and civilization one was born in, which people have no control over, as Jews believe. Where is fairness, logic, and justice in that? Islam's concept of the hereafter makes total sense and applies full justice. Islam states that there is life after this one, where everyone will be judged based on how they lived. Everyone will get what they deserve on Judgment Day, whether a reward or a punishment. In this world, evil people may live decent lives and get away with their wrongdoing, while sometimes good people who believe in God and do good deeds live tough lives. On Judgment Day, justice will be applied. Among the many proofs of Islam is how its teachings show you how to achieve goodness. Other religions teach not to steal and cheat, but their teachings are not practical, whereas Islam's teachings are very practical and provide solutions for all aspects of life. Islam offers many solutions, like the solution to poverty. It has a system known as zakat, which requires everyone with more than a certain amount of money and assets to give 2.5% of their wealth to the poor annually. If everyone followed this system, no one would be dying from hunger in this world, and poverty would perish. Among the proofs of Islam's truthfulness, the biggest one is the miracle of the Holy Quran, which will have a chapter dedicated to it.